Evening all. Uh, beautiful light this evening. Here we have Los Angeles and beautiful nightmare is just behind her. They're in with Songfest, who is my um, oldest broodmare on the farm. She's about 21 years old and an unbridled song mare and the mother of Cake by the Ocean. So there's Los Angeles looking at us. She's spelling and we're just waiting for the tracks to sort of get some moisture in them. Connie is there nibbling on the grass and uh, the same with her. We're just, just a few weeks out to, to calm her legs down and to miss those firm, firm tracks. Um, haven't had much rain lately, so we must protect their legs and make sure they're happy and healthy. Further down the road here, we have some more beautiful girls. I'll just take you for a wee walk. Um, we've got Dance, Dance, Dance trialing again the week of the 24th. And looking forward to her starting again over in Sydney in the Apollo Stakes over 1400 meters on the 15th of February. Uh, further down the back we have Cake by the Ocean. There's only a few shares left in him. Um, he is off to Roger James in a couple of weeks and um, I think he's just got a really great chance, a really lovely Ocean Park Colt. We have also an Ocean Park Gelding um, unnamed as yet but he is also doing extremely well. He's on, at spelling at the moment, but we'll be brought in in a few weeks. Um, and um, so two wonderful ocean parks. So if you're interested in getting involved in an ocean park, I, I can definitely recommend, highly recommend my two fellows. Um, highly educated and uh, off to some good trainers. So here we have Devotion in Motion. She just arrived back. Today from Robin Rogers, he's been on the water walker, which has been a fantastic um, way to get her fitness going. Because of these hard tracks, we certainly don't want to ruin her before she even gets to Graham's. So she's looking wonderful and um, hopefully we can get her fit and ready in a few weeks and she'll be off over to the trainers. Hi Brady. Hey, you say hi. She's got such a lovely personality. Uh, and here beside her is Starlight Express. She is in work as well. Um, take her slowly through. Again, she prefers a wetter track, so I don't want to uh, get her too fit too fast. Um, and so we just take her along nice and slowly, and she's doing really well. Further up the road, we have Can You Handle a Jandal? She'll be off to Graham Richardson's in a couple of weeks as well. Um, she's done everything right. She's got a wonderful personality. The riders love working with her. Uh, I would just like to see her, how she goes this prep as an older two-year-old. But as you can see, she's, she's, she's happy, she's well, and um, be exciting to see her get into training and see what she can do this prep. Maybe get a nice couple of trials from her. Um, there are still leash shares available and um, I would love uh, any one of you to come and join me in this beautiful filly. Hi, Jessie. Good girl. And here is uh, Emma Lavita. She has also just started her pre-training work about the same time as Starlight Express. Um, she's fit, happy, healthy. She doesn't mind the track so mu as much as Starlight Express, so we'll get her up and going a bit faster than, than Starlight Express. Um, but um, she's really filled out her frame. She's muscled up really well and she looks, looks a treat. So those are my New Zealand based horses at the present time. A lot of them are here. Um, and um, I hope you're all having a, a wonderful evening. You're saying goodbye, Bella. Say goodbye. Good girl. <laughs> um, and that's back's on track.